Let's do it. Let me check it. Get let's get a voicemail up and go on here. Yeah, guys. Let's... come on. Jeez. Come on, guys. Get the yeah, voicemail. Yeah, we gotta answer those voicemails. Yeah. Let's get that voicemail. We're kind of slacking. Yeah, the I'm accessing the number, which okay. is two zero eight nine one eight seventeen seventy six. Hey guys, this is Alan calling from Las Vegas. I've heard Bonnie carried something called a whippet gun. Uh, what exactly is a whippet gun? Thanks. Yeah, what exactly is a whippet gun? Okay, so thank you, Alan, from, from Las Vegas. From Las Vegas. Um, Las Vegas. What is a whippet gun? So there's some evidence that maybe Clyde term, uh, coined the term whippet. Mm -hmm. And what, where did you pick up this evidence? Uh, just articles that I read. Okay. Um, the, and they reference the fact that some uh -huh. of the first times that you can find it in writing was Clyde saying that he used a whippet gun. Right. Um, okay. mm -hmm. So what a whip. Uh, I think we talk about it at the range. So rather yeah. than me sitting here, let's Oops. go. Uh, you know, we we went out to the range earlier this week to test this premise. Um, let's roll that. Clyde Barrow of Bonnie and Clyde seems to have coined a term. Now, maybe it was going around during that era anyway, but that is the Whippet gun, uh, which is a shortened shotgun that they would carry concealed under a coat or a garment. Um, obviously, this is what I would imagine maybe a modern iteration of a Whippet gun is. So we have a Mossberg shockwave here. Uh, Clyde's gun, and even Bonnie had her own Whippet gun, which is a Remington Model 11 um, cut down. And then, you know, of course, it would have had a normal stock that they would have cut off short. And they took a leather strap, a short leather strap, not like a normal sling. And they would uh, just loop it around from end to end of the stock. And then they would wear it under a jacket. Now, there's a couple things here. One, uh, this is this gun obviously is has changed and evolved over the years also so have coats people don't really wear coats long enough to conceal a gun anymore um, in fact wearing a long coat now is kind of an indicator for law enforcement that someone might be trying to conceal something so you can see where this premise doesn't really work but we're going to test whether or not you could even open a coat, access a gun, and fire it reliably. All right. Caveat. Disclaimer. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Here's Don't try it. this, first of all. Right. This is not normal um, use of a firearm. It's not even recommended. Right. Uh, I can mm -hmm. rule out for you before we even proceed that the premise of a whippet gun mm -hmm. is not really valid for personal defense, no. not really valid for self-defense, doesn't have any police application. But the story was that they could carry these guns, and we know Bonnie died with her 20-gauge Remington 11 Whippet gun near her body. Um, we want to know just how effective was that, or was it something that they believed in but wouldn't really have worked? So they pulled these things out uh, at a bank or a store and used it to threaten a clerk, but could they have actually been effective with it is what we wanted to determine. So right. mm -hmm. uh, let's find out if that's possible. Let's do it. So... Let me just tell you, it went a little smoother than I thought. You know, being able to carry it on your shoulder and fire it from the hip. Mm -hmm. um, this was a Mossberg shockwave on a little uh, rifle sling that we threw on it. And uh, so, obviously, at a distance of, we, we did seven yards, right. that, you know, worked. Mm -hmm. But my coat wasn't long enough. No. No, no we needed a real world 
uh, simulation. Because the whole idea was that they could walk in somewhere and have it concealed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you never know what's on them. Yeah, and you want to be inconspicuous too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't want to stand out. Right. Nowadays, you can't really wear a coat that long and be inconspicuous. No, I mean you have to wear other things that are less conspicuous. Yeah, yeah. Let's Mm -hmm. see. Let's see. Let's see what we got. See, I think the whippet gun is made more by the garment than by the gun. Oh my gosh. gosh. He actually did it. He managed to conceal the the radio listener. Trevor is wearing a pink bathroom. More the length (laughs) full length bathroom. The The more surprising thing. Gun is still in question. Can't see it. You, no, he, he's hiding that shockwave, which is sticking way All out right, from the bottom of my it. coat. He can't see it. Let's watch what happens. Yeah, I pulled it out in great <laughs> Matrix fashion. That yeah, that was pretty good. That is a headshot. All right, let's see what else we can do with the Whippet when we get back. Uh, remember, you can always get the podcast Clyde's later. Buck died from a massive head wound. Uh, open for several days. Gun shop show. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.